So today we're going to show you how to do something that everybody's got to do at some point when they start a new Insightly account. What is that, Tony? Sign up. After that. Import your records. Uh, you may be keeping track of your contacts or your organizations or projects in a spreadsheet or another CRM or uh, an address book. Um, we can get them out of there and into Insightly. Yep. We're going to show you the cleanest, fastest way to do that so you can get started uh, working on those relationships, building your business. On the contacts page, uh, right over here on the right, and you'll see this on the other pages as well, you have the import option. So here we're, we're importing contacts. You can follow the same process for organizations, leads, opportunities, projects, anything. When you go to do the other ones, they're going to follow pretty much the same flow. Absolutely. All right, so on this page, we have a bunch of options, as you can see. But we're going to recommend for anybody, no matter how big or small your set of importing data is, to use a CSV file. And the reason is why, Tony? Well, CSV is a bit of a simpler file format. Uh, it can be read with a lot of different software. Um, also, by importing a CSV file, you have the option of mapping your fields exactly where you want them to go in Insightly when you do the import. And we'll show you what we mean when we get to that step. So if you have your data in another CRM, you're probably going to export it from that. Same thing with an address book. And it will typically put it into a CSV file format for you because it's a, it's a common file format. Makes sense. Let's take a look at a well-formatted CSV. Right, so what you see here is every row is representing one contact, one record. And every column represents one field. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily have to have information in every one of those, but it's very clear that you can read across from left to right, and you see all the information that pertains to that one record. Makes sense. So this one, for example, would need a little cleaning up. Yeah, this wouldn't work. Um, so you can see we have extra rows here that don't pertain to the uh, record on the left. It actually pertains to the record above. And Sightly isn't going to make those connections. So we need to get everything on a single row. OK, so back here, what are some things that you do want to look for to make sure that it is in good shape. So on the very first line, we can see that we don't have a street address for this contact. If any piece of the address is missing, Insightly will import none of the address. So we want to put something in that line so that we do get the city, state, and postal code. We can just type the word unknown, for example. It'll just be a placeholder. Um, if you ever need to update it later, you can use bulk editing and Insightly to clean those up. Um, but for our import to work and that contact to get into Insightly, we need to make sure something is in there. Specific Specifically for addresses. For their address, right. What's the other thing that, the other big thing that we have to keep an eye out for? Name is, a name is required for all records. Uh, so, you know, if you don't know the name, again, you could put a placeholder. In this case, from the email address, we can kind of estimate what it is. Looks Maybe like you know the person. J. So this looks much cleaner now. Um, you can see over on the right, if you go over, um, we have some data here. So names, addresses, that kind of thing, those are all standard fields that are in any CRM. So Insightly will accept those no matter what. We also have things here like account ID and product needs and energy usage. Favorite um, coffee. Favorite coffee. Yeah, so you want to create that custom field in Insightly before you import this file. And you want to go to your system settings to do that. And our custom fields. Oh here my gosh, they're already them. there. They're already there. We already made them. All right, so back to our CSV. Tony, are we set to go? Yes, John. Yes, we are. Let's import this thing. All right, so we're going to select the file. We're going to select our cleaned up file. And go to the next page. So here you have three options. You're either adding new records, updating, or adding and updating. That's right, John. So if you want to update, that only works if you have the current record ID from Insightly in your spreadsheet. We don't have that in this case, so we're going to select Add New Records. So this final page is the mapping page. This is where we map Insightly fields on the left to the column name and sample data from your file on the right. Um, so what we're going to do is go through field by field and just make sure Insightly picked up on the right field name for some of these. Now, if the field name doesn't match exactly, Insightly might have trouble matching it. So what are we going to do? And start this import. Now what happens is that your import is placed into a queue. Usually it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to get processed. 
um, and you will receive an email once that import is complete. Music to my ears. <laughs> All right, simple enough. Now you know how to import your contacts. Same applies for organizations, which is where you should start in order to keep everything linked correctly. Um, and uh, yeah, if you, have, if you want more information, go to check out Tony's beautiful articles on the Help Center. There's a great community there too, and there are plenty more videos for you to check out. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.